here here this way this way this way this way this way and this is the day time is very small and this is the this is the night time if you see the center of the thing center of the circle center of the circle is this that is uh, this one this one is the center of the circle so you can find out what is the angle this is making and this is this angle is around let's say if, um, you can say 80 degrees and this angle is around uh, 280 degrees all right so you can find out that total is 360 degrees 360 degrees corresponded to 24 hours so then 80 degree correspond to how many hours of daylight and then 280 degree of uh, uh, darkness correspond to how many hours so that was all simple calculations based on proportional values all right so let me come to the Kibla uh, thing so let me rub this out So, so this is our, uh, this is the latitude belonging to the Makkah, it is 21.5 degree north, alright, this is the Makkah and this is the overhead sun, okay, now I will determine only two points which will be sufficient hints to determine where the sun is located for the different points of on the same latitude, alright, now sun is absolutely overhead, no doubts about this. Now come to the sunset timing. Sunset timing is this, right? Now for this, right? This is North Pole and this is South Pole. Okay. So if you, all right, this is North Pole and this is South Pole. Now you determine for this. Okay, this is the sunset, right? Determine the lens of la longitude. Right. Yeah, let me first tell you about latitude and longitude uh, because I, I, I think I did not mention anything about longitude till now. So let me introduce you to the longitude first. So let's say. Yeah. So here is the dead GMT thing. GMT that is standard uh, Greenwich ma uh, Meridian and uh, let's say this is GMT okay GMT this is considered to be uh, let's say 12 noon okay now this is North Pole and South Pole so east of this will be uh, like 10 degrees, 20 degrees, let's say this is 20 degrees. Further east, you go until you reach Saudi Arabia, that is 40 degrees. Alright, this is 40 degrees. And instead of going to the east, if you go west of this, so this will be 20 degree west, or let's uh, and then 40, 40 degree west until you reach America, which is around 75 degree west right so yeah now 75 degree west is nothing but 75 degree east minus 75 sorry so if you want to convert west to the east you just make it minus minus 75 degree east nothing but 75 degree so they are like absolute value of both are has to be same because it's like minus 20 degree east right if you are going for 20 degree east so it will have to be minus 20 degree east so, so, uh, so that is the whole idea. Until you reach, uh, you can say until you reach 180 degree west, right? So 180 degree west. When you reach 180 degree west here, from here, it also travels us, and you are traveling here le leftwise 180 degree east. So that means when you travel 180 degree here, so they ultimately reach to the same point. So 180 degree west is nothing but 180 degree east. 
So there is no uh, case of positive negative here. So 180 degree west correspond to 180 degree east. And for any value lower than that, the, the absolute value has to be the same for both. Okay. So this is all about uh, longitudinal lines. Let me rub, rub this out. So, uh, so before I rub this, so this is 40 degrees Saudi Arabia. For the east you go, this is India. That is 82.5 degree east. Which is nothing but uh, you can say Allahabad uh, timing, 82.5 degree east. Got it? So let me rub this out. Now, so I was de determining the same thing. So this is all right. So this is the this is the marker over at sun. Okay. Now, so I was telling you this is north pole and the south pole. So this is if I consider uh, setting part. So this is going to be. This is going to be the lines of latitude from North Pole to South Pole. So this is North. At this point, this is North and this is South. Right? This is East. This is West. We know Earth is traveling like this and we know Earth travels from West to East. Right? West to East. So this is West. This is East. And fortunately, what happens is during the sunset timings the sun is is sun is not located above the plane of the earth it is as it is it is exactly located on the plane of the earth that means if this is the plane of the earth east west north south the sun would be on the same plane so this is the sun right so whatever angle it is making let's say it's making around 40 degree angle the sun is around 40 degree north of west in the northwest it is 40 degrees north of west so let me prepare a graph for this i am just removing the the lower portion of the earth so let's say Alright, so this is the plane of the earth. So this has nothing to do with the uh, things we are doing. This is just the plane of the earth where the person is let's say standing like this. Let's say I am standing on a on a, a flat, flat platform where this is north and south. Okay, and this is east and west. Okay, this is east, this is west. Now, sun is absolutely overhead on 12 noon no doubts about that so what sun is the angle making at the angle at let's say sunset it's 40 degree here all right so sun is in the west sun has to be here right north the west so this is the same 40 degree projection here 40 degree projection here okay got it and let's say this is now Similarly, sunrise because it's all like uh, if the sun is setting here, the sun should be rising from my current point on the east side. So it should be here itself also. It is 40 degree here, right? So this is the rising point. So what happens is, so so you can say, so sun is making this angle at this location, 40 degree. Now, now I would try to convert this thing into